Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vivian P. Uh, I'm 39 years old, uh, married and currently resides in Sabah. Um, actually, uh, before this, I was in Sabah Jaya for 22 years since I was 18. Um, but this year, uh, back in April during pandemic, uh, I've decided to go back to Sabah and give back to my state. Um, now, I'm currently leading a government agency under Ministry of Trade and Industry. It's the first ever uh, government initiative in the uh, aspect of uh, innovation and technology. So, I'm leading uh, Pusat Creative Economy dan Innovasi Sabah or in English, Sabah Creative Economy and Innovation Hub. The purpose of this um, uh, centre is to push the agenda of technology and innovation. Uh, in Sabah. I was ex-magician, I was with Magic before a government agency as well and um, I'm also founder of Borneo Startups Community. It's a community-driven uh, group to also push the agenda of innovation, startup, uh, technology um, at the grassroots level. I'm also co-founder of Borneo Specialty Coffee, so it's a social enterprise um, we got our basic uh, SE basic accreditation from from Magic. Uh, so what we do is basically we sell coffee beans from our rural coffee farmers in Kundasa, mm -hmm. and our social mission is to give them sustainable income. And uh, uh, we hope that the the the, the coffee from Kundasa will will get uh, attention from all over the world because the quality is. Uh, the same with with uh, coffee from you know other other country, uh, other country. So um, yeah, that that's about me. And um, I'm currently, like I said, I'm currently residing in in Sabah uh, to to drive this initiative uh, statewide. Okay. And what is the most challenging moment in your career, and how do you overcome it? Well, I must say the most challenging uh, time in, in my career is definitely now. Um, leading during pandemic Croatia is definitely a lot more challenging Easy. compared yeah. to uh, normal days before. Mm -hmm. Everything has changed. The way we work, um, the SOP, uh, mm -hmm. the decision-making process has been um, a lot more challenging, a lot to consider, especially when it comes to uh, finance. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess it is also a blessing in disguise. Um, this the, this situation has uh, really uh, tested you as a person, your mm -hmm. your your patience, your mm -hmm. um, integrity. It mm -hmm. builds your grit, builds your yes. resilience, and yeah. and I think it's I've learned a lot yeah. more during this mm -hmm. uh, pandemic for the past five months more than before. So uh, definitely this time around is is very challenging but i think it it doesn't feel that bad because i know everyone is experiencing this thing together so we we know that we are all in this in the same boat <laughs> yes all of us are all in the same boat all like everyone in the same situation mm. adapting to the new normal adapting to the changes yes Definitely. Okay, and moving on to the next question. Who are the uh, most mm -hmm. inspirational women in Malaysia and internationally that you admire? Um, in Malaysia, I must say my mom because um, my mom, she is strong. I know what she had gone through before. And still, she finds a way to be above all the sadness, all the challenges that she's, she's facing. Um, she's a funny woman as well. So sometimes like, I'm wondering, like, why can you still, you, she still can, la can, can laugh, although uh, she's facing you know, challenges. So I think she's strong and, and, and growing up, I, I admire her strength. Um, mm -hmm. Internationally, I must say, I I I have a lot people, uh, um, a lot of people that I admire, but I think the most is uh, Michelle Obama. Uh, I love her confidence. I love the way she. I mean, of course, she's the wife of, um, you know, pres the president. Obama. But but 
I love that she wherever she go, whatever interview she she um she's in, she doesn't use that status as a wife of president to you know leverage her her position. But but yeah, I love her confidence. I love her leadership and and. Um, what else? Yeah, I, I love everything about her. I don't know, but yeah, I have a lot of people that I admire, but so far, I think this Michelle Obama stood out more. High five. Because I love <laughs> her. I love Michelle Obama. Really? High five. <laughs> yeah. Ah. What I love about her is she's amazing oh. and she's very persistent. And she done a lot of uh, work uh, in, in the United States to empower women and girls, right? Yeah. And she goes to universities oh, yeah. and, and talks to the students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like very empowering. Yeah. I love Michelle Obama. Yeah. Yeah. If we have the chance and opportunity, we love to meet her in person someday, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that's like a dream come true. <laughs> okay, and moving on to the next question, Vivianti. What does woman empowerment means to you? I think women empowerment can be defined in many ways. Uh, but to me, it's all about ensuring um, women, despite different backgrounds, different religions, different culture, gets equal opportunity and treatment from the community. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I'd like to share my experience with Lenin Malaysia. I know you're, you're very familiar with Lenin Malaysia as well. I mm -hmm. think I rose from um, this, I, I progressed a lot after uh, participating in one of their career programs. And I love the fact that everyone's in that community support each other, support each other not only during that that session during mm -hmm. that programs but post program as well so during pandemic we still do our zoom session um asking like you know how how they how everyone's keeping up um i love the the support that that they've, they've given even after the program so i think yeah women empowerment like i said it can be defined in many ways mm -hmm. but but to me it's, it's about empowering other women despite different backgrounds so for example like in myself uh, in in uh for me personally uh, my mission in, in the aspect of women empowerment is to go to the rural area and mm -hmm. empower the women over there so that's one of the reasons as well why i co-founded borneo specialty coffee with mm -hmm. my husband because um the rural farmers are all coffee farmers are all women seven of them um so so that's my personal mission to in, in the aspect of women empowerment to help other women from different backgrounds to excel as well well that's amazing and and for for you and your husband to help them you know uh, the ladies in the rural villages to you know start up a small business a small social enterprise and then who knows from that small business, social enterprise, it might grow to be a big enterprise. So they have to start from start, starting it small first, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. It's always safe to start your startup small. Um, fail fast, fail cheap, they said. So I um, just want to share my experience, Parisha. Um, I'm glad that we started uh, this business small because during pandemic, um, although rugi, yes, but tak rugi so much yeah. lah. Um, we, we, I mean, we are affected until now, but not uh, not that much compared to like big businesses, right? So there's, yeah. there's blessing in this place as well, starting this small.